Okay, continuing on the parameters here, let's go ahead and go over a couple more here. Let's do crown, start with crown framework. If we click on crown framework, this is just simply making a, a coping. Uh, you know, this is a technique that is done a lot by labs if they want to layer it, if they want to make a coping out of metal or zirconia. You know, when I typically do this as a dentist, I, I make copings uh, to try to hide dark substructures. So if I have a really, really dark um, dark tooth, you know, just a black stump from a root canal tooth, a lot of times I'll make a coping in, in like an Emax uh, MO, like a medium opacity, or, or maybe even a zirconia if it's really dark, but, but generally Emax MO, and then I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll prep it down and then re-image it to make an overlay in a much more beautiful porcelain like a Trilux or an Emax HT or something like that. So there is applications for us as dentists for the, the actual framework. So again, you know, spacer, uh, since normally I'm using Emacs and bonding, I'm still going to keep the spacer somewhere up there like I normally would. Um, you know, the, the minimal thicknesses work the same. The minimal thickness radial set at 500 is good. The occlusal, typically I put this at 500 as well, just to have a nice uh, half a millimeter coping around the tooth. Uh, margin thickness, I like to keep that a little bit thin. Uh, because sometimes I'm actually drawing the margin short of the actual margin by a little bit and then re-prepping over the top or re-imaging. So the margin's not too important, so I usually keep that a little bit thin. And then, of course, we want to keep our instrument geometry and remove undercuts always at yes. There's no need to actually have uh, binding spots. So we'll go ahead and go back to the next one. That's crown framework. A crown telescope is an interesting parameter. You know, I, I really didn't have much experience with telescopes. We'll, we'll definitely go through some examples with some videos. Uh, but it's a nice little application. You know, telescope crowns are, are things that allow you to parallel different teeth. A lot of times people use them on abutments or bigger overdenture cases to create bars and things like that to make everything parallel. Um, I've had some experiences of, of using these tel little telescope crowns over um, some, some, some titanium bases from Glidewell, for instance. I use that. Or even you can use that on a 3.0 diameter where there's no uh, 3.0 diameter uh, implant crown or abutments where there's no zirconia uh, alternative. Sometimes I'll just I'll, I'll create uh, a telescope over the top of that 3.0 uh, titanium base or stock metal abutment uh, in the anterior. So again, if we go through these parameters for the telescope, again, spacer, same as always. You know, Generally, I'm creating these telescopes out of Emacs. Uh, you certainly can do them out of zirconia. If I was doing it out of zirconia, I would actually lower it uh, because generally I like to cement zirconia. So when I cement, I lower the spacer. If I bond, I raise the spacer. Okay? Minimal thickness, again, this is always the same. You guys know what these parameters are. I generally like half a millimeter when I'm making any sort of framework or telescope. Margin thickness, I might up just a little bit. We've got a couple other ones here. Cervical shoulder width, you can see down here, if we raise this, if we want to increase the actual platform, almost like a custom abutment in a way, we can actually do that. The telescope angle, depending on how many telescopes you have, uh, you might want to give a little bit of divergence to it so it's it's not quite so parallel. You know, if they're really parallel, you might have some, some difficulty seating the restoration. And then you can also control the telescope height very easily, depending on the height of whatever you're making that telescope on. We know what the geometry is. We know what the undercuts are. Uh, the last one is occlusal shoulder width. And you can see that that's actually some uh, something that uh, right up in this area, you'll notice it kind of beveling back and forth. So that's what that occlusal shoulder width is. Okay, so that covers uh, the parameters of crown framework and telescope. And in the next videos, we'll continue with some of the other uh, parameters.